So hi guys, um, today I am filming my video about meeting JK Rowling, I'm so excited to film this. I have filmed this about four or five times over the past few months and I've watched the videos back and they just haven't done the experience justice, but I've just said I just need to put this up on YouTube and put it down. And because YouTube for me, it's like me building up my memories and yeah, something we can look back on in a couple of years time or something. So anyway. I want to talk about what it was like to meet Jack and Riley. For those of you who watched my previous video about this, I went down to Bath Literature Festival in March, March the 8th, to meet J.K. Rowling. Um, we decided, me and my boyfriend, like, to stay the night at a hotel because she didn't come on until 8, so we just found a ticket. Lost the ticket. Yeah, she didn't come on until 8, and it was an hour long talk, which would be 9, and we wanted to stay for the signing. And then you're not talking about getting a train back until 11, and then we wouldn't get back into Birmingham until like one, half one. So it just seemed a lot easier to stay the night and then go sightseeing as well, and make it into like a short weekend away. Um, the actual talk itself was really interesting, really fascinating. It's one of my favourite talks that she's done. She's shown this grown up and adult side of her. I'm not saying she isn't, but I think she's has to be very protective of Harry Potter and of her characters to keep them in this innocent, wrapped up bubble that they have to be in for children to. Yeah, engages them in that sense. But it was great the way she was talking, and yeah, and she showed a really humorous side of her as well. She was humorous, modest. She was just everything you want an author to be, or everything I want an author to be. Um, the question and answer session went on for ages as well. I was really happy about that. I mean, whilst it was a casual vacancy only event and you couldn't get any of your Harry Potter books signed, she was happy to see many people had come. I think some person had come dressed up in their robes, another person was wearing a weasel jumper, which was amazing, it was homemade, really cool, I really loved us. Um, but yeah, I was really, really impressed. Uh, some of the questions included whether there would ever be a prequel, like the Marauders, and uh, the Marauders for me are my favourite era in the Harry Potter books and series, but no, sadly she said no, she said prequels ruin it. Um, Another question was about Sakinda, the character in the Casual Vacancy. And the questions asked about Dumbledore and Grindelwald. If any of you want any answers to those questions, just want to know what the questions are. Do you want to spoil anything for anyone? Then just send me a message on YouTube. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys. Um, after the talk, we went to get their book signed. So you called it row by row. We were in row 11 in the stalls. And I was in seat number 2. But um, I thought the stalls would get called at first and then the balcony, but they were really good in how they had one row of the stalls, one row of the balcony, and etc, etc. It actually was a 40 minute wait since the signing had finished, since the talk had finished and the signing for me actually began. And I called it a row. One steward would highlight your ticket like that, so they know you'd been up because there was only one book per person as well. And while we weren't going to queue, the queue was like 50 people long, but it moved quite quickly. My boyfriend, being the boyfriend he is, took some pictures. The Jake Rowland zoomed in took them, so there's one that I've got. This is my favourite one. Um, because she's smiling and you get the colour of the book in as well, which I think is great. I've written them out to put in my, um, one of my photo albums about Bath and Seth, or Bath, depending where you're from, but yeah. That was great. You couldn't actually record any of it and stuff, so I haven't got any footage for you, but I've got those pictures. <laughs> and then as you got close to the front, another shoe would come along and basically... I'm going to do start showing the sign. Stick that in. There, which is the certificate, uh, sticker of authenticity, so you can show people in like 10 years time that this is the Jason Round sign book. And here it is, what a glory. It's crazy to think that Jake Rowling's hand has been on there. It is like when <laughs> she signed it, her hand zoomed across the page. But yeah, I love it. Uh, so that's my casual vacancy book. It's a bit better because, you know, I, I didn't buy a new coffee to get signed. I had my, my coffee. I did take down Harry Potter and the Half of the Prince and the Prince of Asgard because they're my favourite books. But yeah, she wasn't signing them. She was very adamant upon that. But it was just such an amazing experience. I should have written a letter to give to her. I was thinking about that. But I have something else in mind that I'm going to do in, in June that you guys will be partaking in, in a way. But yeah, ah, oh, it's 
Glory. I love it. I was like, hmm. And her signature is so cool. It's like, oh, it's neat and big and swirly and everything you want in a signature. And these are already going for like £150 on eBay, which I think I, which I couldn't believe. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't stop stroking it now, it's a bit weird. I'm going to put it down in my lap. <laughs> and whilst we're on the topic of J.K. Rowling, I said that whilst, you know, whilst I'm on the topic, I always am. I want to show you guys something. Um, I'm going to be making a Harry Potter in June. These, This is given to me by my mum, my loving mummy for Christmas. So thanks mum. I have two tickets. Me and a friend are like gift tickets so you can pick your dates and stuff. Which is great. I also have my mum bought me the souvenir guidebook, which is cool as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I just want to know price-wise how much stuff is in the gift shop. Um, what is there? there? Are there jumpers? Are there robes? I'm gonna go crazy. I really am. Also, platform one three quarters open to shop. <gasps> so I'll be going there too. So in June, I'm having a Harry Potter month. Start on June the first before my exam finishes. Maybe like this, way. Um, and it, I have a few ideas of what is involved. I don't want to spoil everything for you, but it'd definitely be like the Harry Potter challenge of watching all the Harry Potter videos back to back videos. Oh, I'm so old. DVDs back to back. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you've been to Wonder Rivers, um, then yeah, let me know. Hit me up. If you met Jake around and I have anything else to add. Hit me up if you went to Bath Literature Festival. You guys should know the job right now. Hit me up. Um, yeah, it was. I think it was the best experience of my life so far. And to show you that it was the best experience of my life, I bought a bottle of Prosecco after <laughs> and drank with my boyfriend in the hotel room. Because, like, yeah, Prosecco is like a tiny champagne. And I was just like, yeah, we're going to have some champagne now. It was literally came, coming out and it was raining. I was screaming. I was like, oh, this is my favorite. Oh, but yeah. Um, I, I was going to film, or I went at the bus stop, my boyfriend would film in public with me, it was a bit disappointing. <laughs> anyway, bye guys, I've got to get back to revision. Bye!